prepared with a sob story. Um, I've got one. It, it's quite shocking and distressful, so I apologise in advance. Um, basically, I was actually born in Birmingham. Now, obviously you always hope it happens to someone else's family, not yours, but not everyone can be that lucky. Um, I do remember still the first time my uncle visited us in Birmingham. He got to the city centre, got out of his car, he looked around and went, oh, it's a bit dangerous, isn't it? He's from Baghdad. <laughs> now, the problem is, sometimes I tell people I'm from Birmingham and the response is, oh, I didn't know you were Northern. That's because I'm not. I am not Northern. When Margaret Thatcher died, I was sad. I want to clarify straight away, that is a joke. I absolutely was not sad when Thatcher died. And to be honest, even if I were, I definitely wouldn't admit to it at Goldsmiths, okay? <laughs> uh, that Nicholas and I both did our research. The difference is that Nicholas did not give a fuck. <laughs> the thing about the Brummie accent, though, is that it has this thing where it, it kind of makes everything you say sound dumb. This problem is even worse if what you're saying is dumb to begin with. I'll give you an example. My friend Amir and I were at this house party and it was dead. We wanted to leave. I said to him, we need to think of an excuse. He went to me and goes, don't worry bro, I got this. Walks straight up to the host of the party, acts like his phone is ringing and goes, hello, what? All right, I'll be there right away. Hassan, we need to go. My family's dead. <laughs> oh, your family's dead? Like, yeah, 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 they're the proper dead, you know, the proper dead. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, oh, I swear that, I swear to you, yeah. I, sw I swear on my mom's life that she's dead. <laughs> now, the problem... I think originates by the fact that we don't really have anyone on TV from Birmingham that's making our accent sound intelligent. I'll give you an example. Jamie Carragher, legendary Liverpool football player, I think does a great job with the Scouse accent on Sky Sports. Um, that move by Jurgen Klopp to go 3 5 2 is absolute genius. I would have done it. So I'll send Alexander Arnold to swap off. On the right side, the two centre box. So I was in the field to just push forward and help support Roberto Firmino. I once did that impression in my lab, where I work, and the lab manager, who's South African, came up to me and said, Hey, Hassan Bru, I told you, eh? No more speaking Arabic in the lab. Okay, it's dangerous, Bru. Save it for the shisha bar after work, okay?